Hello boys and girls. How are you doing? I'm going to show you how to make a bird feeder for the garden and that will help attract the birds to your garden and you can watch them. So this is what we're going to make. Something like this. Do you see the seed in there? Now, what you'll need is you'll need a chopstick or a stick. You'll need some sticks for the roof, but you don't need to have sticks. And you'll need a milk carton or a juice carton. And this is what you do. You have to draw some lines like this. And that is going to be the door. This door here. And the birds can sit on this stick and eat the seeds inside. Now I've made a little roof there and that's to stop the rain from coming in if it rains. So you might need some help cutting the door out. And then I cut the end piece off so that if it went down like that, the poor birdie wouldn't be able to get inside to get the seed. So I cut the end off. Now on the top, you can just keep it like that with the stopper on, or you can cut round it. You'll have to get um, your mummy or daddy or friend to cut that for you if you want to make it with the roof like that. So cut the top off. Make a hole at the side there. You need two holes, one on that side and one on that side for the string to go through. So you can hang it on a tree. And then you need to make two holes here, one hole there and one hole on the back. And you can put a stick through there or a chopstick. And that's for the birds to sit on. Now you can just make it like that, or you could paint it. You can paint it and then glue on the sticks. Now you'd have to cut them to the right size. So what I did, I measured with the stick how long you want it to be. And mine was about six centimeters. So I measured it with a ruler here, like this. And I marked it with a marker pen like that. And that comes off, so don't worry about that. And then that will show you where to cut. So I cut those with some strong scissors. You may need some help with that. Then I glued it on. It was a bit tricky because those sticks kept falling off, but you have to hold them on for a little while until they dry. Then you put, the, once you've painted it, then put the sticks on, then thread some string or a shoelace or ribbon through there. It's actually quite tricky. Now someone with little hands may be able to put your hand in there and pull the string through and then tie a knot. Then put your chopstick through the hole in the bottom and put some seeds there and then find a place to hang it in the garden, maybe from a tree or from a wall or in a sheltered position. And then watch the birds come. Let me know how you get on and how many birds you see.